Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I'm here at my mom's house with my mom and with Zaya. And we're back for another Raven's Kitchen Cooking Connection, whatever we decided to call it, but featuring my mom this time and Zaya, I guess maybe she'll help us. And we're back, of course, with Blue Apron. You guys have seen me use Blue Apron before. You guys don't know what Blue Apron is. It's basically a really cool service where you don't have to go to the grocery store because they will ship all your ingredients for your meals to you all in this refrigerated box. It's free shipping, it's farm fresh ingredients, and they give you the recipes on the card. Really simple step-by-step -step instructions so you can just get your ingredients, get your recipe, and cook a healthy meal at home. So we're gonna open up this blue apron box and see what we got this time, and I'm gonna cook it with my mom and Zaya. My mom is a chef, and if you guys don't know, that's why we call her Chef Tony. So not only does she always cook for us at home, but she actually did cook for clients as well, so maybe we'll learn a thing or two, we'll see. Your recipes are chicken meatballs and frigo la sarda. Even, I don't know what that is. Katsu style catfish and green garlic pesto pasta. Um, let's, why don't you do chicken? Now why don't you do pasta and I'll do the fish. You want to cook it? Yeah. Do a cook off at the same time? Meanwhile, Zaya is getting the ingredients ready down here. I don't know if y'all can see her. I mean, getting the utensils ready. Okay, so I'm gonna make the pasta and she's gonna make the catfish and we're gonna do a cook off. Mother got a cook off. Hey, so. Professional chef versus, versus Raven's Ratchet Kitchen. Oh, you can do it. So I'm gonna do the green garlic pesto pasta and she's gonna do the katsu style catfish with black garlic mayonnaise and yep. jasmine rice. Red cabbage, scallions, the egg. I'm gonna do this pasta for the carrot rice, butter lettuce, the green garlic, Arugula, lemon. Oh, you got all the ingredients. <laughs> all right, got all the knickknacks in here. And they give you everything like perfectly portioned out, little portions, just exactly what you need for the recipe so you're not like wasting anything. So one tip I can give you if you're preparing your blue apron recipes is to read the instructions all the way through. Don't just start off at the top and go, okay, yeah. I got it. I'm gonna marinate the cabbage. Read all the way through so you kind of understand what's happening with the recipe. Okay. It's easy, but just, yeah. you know, follow directions. So it gives you all the pictures and instructions, really easy. My mom probably thinks she don't need the instructions. She's like skimming through it. I don't know what to do. That's what she does with instructions in general. I look at the pictures. <laughs> she just skims the through the pictures and then she's like, oh, I know how to it's do like it. Cabbage with shredded. Building furniture and everything. I see so. the <laughs> She's probably gonna improv it, but I need I'm to read it. Right. I'm gonna do it right. <laughs> hey, we need cutting board. Do you want a cutting board, Zaya? Zaya, you burnt right in my face. You wanna grate the carrot and zest the lemon. Wow, you need extra tools. Do you have, uh, have a chicka thing for this? A chicka chicka. <laughs> here's the grater <laughs> and here's the zest. Is this a good thing we didn't do this at your house? I do oh, have yeah. these. Yes. Okay. I reused both of these in the last recipe. Okay. I think my recipe's easier. It's it's really not fair. Really not. Fair. Your yeah. recipe is easier? Because all I have to do is chop up the uh, cabbage and marinate it. And I've got to cook some rice and flour. <laughs> what are you making? Mmm, good. Okay, Raven, this is a quiz. What am I doing with my little bowls and my ingredients and my cutting board? Mm. Mise en place. Absolutely, very good. What did you say, mise en place? <laughs> mise en place means when you're preparing all your ingredients and chopping them up and stuff ahead of time Absolutely. instead of as you go. I taught you well. Okay, so that's the lemon. I find it's easier to zest lemon if you just hold the zester over the bowl. Like this. And you only want to get the yellow part. Don't go too deep into the white part because the white part is nasty. It's bitter. It's bitter, which is nasty. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You want this way? No. Hold on. This way? No. 
Yeah, like that. Yeah. What's the difference? Yeah. This is basic. Yeah. You see if you're gonna put it. Go right in. That's not that's not that's pulverized. That's not grainy. Okay. Go like this. Go like this. You can put it in the bowl when you get finished. See, now it's nicely grated, not smooshed. What was your favorite meal growing up that I used to cook for you? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I like pasta dish. I like like fettuccine alfredo when you make the sauce from scratch. I like shrimp scampi. Um, I don't like when you make spaghetti. <laughs> you don't like spaghetti? Not because I don't like it, but I just felt like we had it once a week because Maya would always ask for it. Yeah. And I, I'm, spaghetti is not really my favorite, so I didn't want to eat it that often. You remember this? <laughs> this meal plan. <laughs> it's still on the refrigerator from when I asked you guys what you wanted me to cook for dinner. And this is, I can tell I guess, I think me and my right? sister were complaining. Me and Maya were complaining about she wasn't cooking what we wanted or something. She was like, okay, well y'all write down a menu, write down some dinner ideas. So we wrote down our favorite dinners and she kept it. This is when I was probably like, I don't know, maybe I was like 13. Maya's meal planning suggestions were spaghetti with garlic bread, tacos with black beans, kung, Pow, P-O-W, chicken, and Raven wrote L-O-L over it. Rice and broccoli, shrimp scampi with broccoli, pasta with pesto as any side. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Free to make any side dish. Pork tenderloin, something I can't see. Which, then, that's, this is like a eight year old, however old she was, 10 year old. And fajitas. Requesting pork tenderloin for dinner. Raven's portion says fettuccine alfredo, Baked potato soup, Caesar salad, pork nuggets, barbecue, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, white people potato salad, whatever that means. Which means it's basically mayonnaise and mustard. <laughs> mustard. Lasagna, uh, the traditional kind, as opposed to what? Because you used to make like veggie lasagna with like zucchini and stuff in it. Okay. In a medium pan, heat two teaspoons of olive oil on medium high to hot, add the green garlic stem and bulb. Oh, it's supposed to slice it. Like I said, <laughs> read the instructions all the way through. Because then when you read the instructions all the way through, then you forget by the time you're supposed to do it. Got my olives. I don't know why people like these. All right, I got my fish seasoned with my special Cajun seasoning. And I'm going to do the February, um, it's, fe it's called February. Why it's called February? No. <laughs> it's what? F E B. Do you know why it's yeah. called February? Of course I know why it's called February. <laughs> Quizzing you. F for flour. Sneeze away from the pan. It's the order. It's the order that you bread something. Flour, egg, butter. Butter? <laughs> Flour, egg, what? Breading. Breading. So this is oh. the egg breading. So you put the flour on. Egg into the Coat it with flour. Because the flour makes the egg stick to whatever you're, you're um, breading. And then the... Are you supposed to use one hand though? Egg on gas. <laughs> Wet, dry. You remember that? And then you put it in the egg. And the egg makes the breadcrumb stick. My mom is a kitchen utensil hoarder. <laughs> Multiple sizes of every type of kitchen thingy. Got a little tiny whisk and a little tiny spatula. I have one of these too, actually. I know, I insisted you buy one. <laughs> Lemon juicer contraption thing. It catches the seeds and does all the work for you. You wanna cook? You wanna cook something? Yeah, I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are? Are you done? I'm done, because all I have are to do is put the toppings on the salad. All you have to do is, what do they say? 
<laughs> what do they say on Wait. Food Network? Jack's picture. Put your aprons down, put your pants down. Hands up, I'm done already. No, you're not. You're good. You have to play. Okay, play it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You're not done until you're plating. And plating. You're cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> you were talking to me about. You were talking all this smack about you, you being faster than me. You, you have Garnish. to make both plates. What? Yeah. It's two, two That's, servings. Oh, 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 I dropped the pasta on the floor. <laughs> you cheated. You didn't tell me I had to play. Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm not putting all this in myself. Hey, <laughs> you have to. Ta da! <laughs> Who wins? I win. She, she wins. cheated. Did you eat the pasta? Is it good? Does your mommy know how to cook good pasta? Yummy. Mmm, Taya says my pasta is good. Good job. What's, oh, you gotta taste Grammy's rice. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's enjoying my noodle. Try some of Grammy's rice. Try jump. Yeah. Mmm, mm, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Yucky. Yummy. Right, so nope, she's going for the pasta. <laughs> All right, so here's our finished product. We have my pesto pasta with my side salad. And my katsu style catfish with black garlic mayo. She's and still cheating. She's reading her card. <laughs> I said my oh, watch. You didn't tell me I couldn't read. Okay. I memorized the name. I have katsu fish. style catfish. Pink field credit. <laughs> See, you lose. I have a green garlic pesto pasta with butter lettuce salad. And I have katsu style catfish. With. <laughs> Style catfish. It's a tongue twister. Now we have to do the taste test. Alright. Zaya, we already did Zaya's taste test, so she chose mine. Alright, do I get to taste yours? No, let me take mine first. Mmm, delicious. Put <laughs> <laughs> it in your mouth. Let me see. Mm. I'm not supposed to even be eating pasta, but I'm gonna do this for you. Oh, yeah, for me. Yeah, it's really good. Salt bay. <laughs> it's like this. Uh, yeah, it, he like makes it bounce off his elbow. Oh, I didn't watch that close. <laughs> it ain't gonna bounce off my elbow. <laughs> the garlic, black garlic mayo. Horrible. <laughs> good. That's really good. Let me see. Let me taste rice. light and flaky and tender and perfectly cooked. Mm. All right, so I don't know who the real winner is here. I guess we can call it a tie. I think Zaya really liked my pasta and I think it's pretty good, but I'm not gonna lie. Her fish is pretty good too, so I guess it's a tie. Actually, maybe not. Why don't you let your viewers vote on who they thought won the competition, or at least which meal looks better, which meal looks better. <laughs> That's not fair, because you know you're gonna win because you have your presentation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Just, you can either just, vote just on vote which who won. Who won? Who won this competition? Me. If you guys want to win the next giveaway, you can't taste it. Oh, so you bribe. You bribe people. Okay. Well, you guys can vote down below on which one looks better. I guess. No, but no, no. Keep in mind that she cheated and no, that. No. <laughs> anyway. No vote. No vote. No vote. Anyway, if you guys want to try this out for yourself, try out Blue Apron, do a cooking competition with somebody in your family, do a cook off with two of the recipes. There is a link down below, check it out. The first 50 viewers will get three meals on their first Blue Apron order free. And I guess comment down below and tell me who you think won between us two, vote for me, Raven for President 2017. <laughs> um, but that's all we have. We're gonna finish eating this now and share it with my dad and Zaya. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, I just wanted to quickly mention that I am doing a giveaway every month this year. So this month's giveaway is actually going to be these pink shamble shirts. You guys might have seen me rock with these in a few videos and on my Instagram. And actually a bunch of you guys have already ordered yours and I've been getting your selfies and your pictures. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, this month I am gonna be giving away some of these shirts. So all you have to do is be in the squad. Zaya has her shirt, she's in the squad. The baby shirts are not for sale, unfortunately. But yeah, all you have to do if you wanna win one of these shirts is be in the squad. And how you join the squad is just to subscribe to my blog down below. So I have the link to my blog down below. <laughs> Look at the link down below. Subscribe.
subscribe to my blog's mailing list and then you're automatically entered to win one of these shirts that we're wearing.